in of computer games innovation. And here's another one to add to the list. Homegrown in Nottingham, it's Time Splitters. Oh boy, am I ready for this? Time Splitters is one of the first games to be released on the new PlayStation 2 console. It's the brainchild of Nottingham company Free Radical Design and has already topped the games charts in America after its release there last month. The idea for Time Splitters was to put a whole different slew of movies together, um, get the exciting bits out of them and turn it into a game. OK, I'll do it. The game spans um, 100 years. Um, it runs from 1935 to 2035. And the idea behind that is that um, it allows us to set up a whole load of completely different environments, um, all based on the movie theme. And the idea is to zap enemies, ranging from zombies to 70s detectives and Chinese chefs. There's a general trend going on at the moment to put more and more story into these sort of games. Roger, sir. By doing that, the games get more and more restricted to a certain theme. Oh, yeah. We wanted to break away from that and do as many different themes as possible. Free Radical Design was formed 18 months ago and the 16 strong team has spent all that time developing the game that's set to put them on the computer world map. Basically you have three types of people. You have um, programmers who code the engine, you have artists who do all the designs for the backgrounds and you have animators who bring the whole thing to life. Yes. We did actually do motion capture um, and we hired a lot of traditionally trained animators as well. And when they came along, um, they looked at the motion capture and decided that they could do a, a better job. The basic starting point is to come up with your character, and it always starts on paper. And then once everyone's happy with that, then we move on to building it inside the computer uh, using triangles. And once you're happy with that, then you move on to putting a virtual skeleton inside your model. And then uh, using that skeleton, you can manipulate your model around the screen, and eventually it turns into an animated character. Ready? Although PlayStation 2 was released yesterday, you'll be lucky to find one in the shops. Due to high demand and shortage of supplies, most people will have to wait until after Christmas for the latest in games technology. I think the PlayStation 2, for me as an animator, it takes me one step further to, to producing what I'd really like to produce. It'll do an awful lot of stuff that people haven't seen before. Um, it won't make you toast for you in the morning, but it'll do an awful lot of other clever things. Well, that's it for part one, but don't go anywhere, because after the ads, we'll be back with some super strong shaling monks. Brief, show us what it means to rock, and we'll be giving you the rundown of our latest news. See you in a minute. Yeah. Keep them alone and they'll come home.